there are four elements of the third group of the periodic table. Scandium, yttrium, lutinium, and lorentium. For obvious reasons, I was not able to obtain any lorentium, but I'm going to drop all of these metals in the scandium family into water to show how they react. To start off, here's scandium. The first of the transition metals, scandium, is not very exciting to watch in the water. In fact, some of you who saw the alkaline earth metals video might be getting some beryllium flashbacks. However, it does react just enough with water to form tiny amounts of scandium hydroxide and a little bit of hydrogen gas. Next up is yttrium. One thing I forgot to mention is that group 3 elements only react with hot water, and like scandium, yttrium barely reacts with it at all, forming tiny amounts of yttrium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And finally, here's lutetium. Unlike the first two, lutetium actually does have an interesting reaction with water. Unfortunately, the sample size I purchased was really small, so you don't really get to appreciate it for how cool it is. Seeing as how the first series of the transition metals turned out to be really underwhelming, I decided to include a bonus, ytterbium. The lanthanite that's most similar to the scandium family. As was explained before, ytterbium is not a group 3 element, but it is very similar to them, and as you can see, it behaves very similarly in the water. An extremely slow reaction. And finally, here's lanthanite. The lanthanite most similar to the alkaline earth metals and the one that some consider the true group 3 element. Lanthanum turned out to be the biggest disappointment. While I wasn't expecting much from the other four, I was expecting this one to be similar to an alkaline earth metal. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Well, I suppose that is that. You know, there's a lesson to be learned from this. Science isn't always fun or exciting. Sometimes you get really boring results like this. This will be the last of the metals and water series, as further groups of metals don't even react at all with the water. I hope despite the lackluster results you enjoyed this, if you'd like some more excitement instead, I implore you to check out the Alkali Metals in Water on the left, which is my favorite of the series, or on the right, my most popular one, Alkaline Earth Metals in Water.